So now let's take a look at the file structure that uh, has been created by the two um, programs. Uh, this was a mistake, it's a bit confusing. I didn't differentiate between the memoq file and the omega t, but let's look at uh, memoq. So the, pro the project is called omt versus mmq. So it's the longer name, while uh, the other one is for omega t. So let's look inside the memoq project. We see that there are uh, some XML um, documents and translation documents. Uh, it says here um, we have the same name as the original document uh, with an extension MRD and uh, we have here some kind of docx. Uh, these are the files. So the file structure is rather simple it's just the directory and then uh, inside it there's the translation documents and this XML. Um, as as um, regards Omega T we see a more complex file structure because Omega T um, opens the entire project um, when you open the project it opens all the uh, various um, files needed for the project at the same time so this is uh, the dictionary directory where you will put your dictionaries, the glossary where you will put your glossaries. Omega T is where uh, ultimately we will have the translation memory that Omega T will create, the TM. Here is the source, you see Omega T copied the file in its entirety into this directory. And the target is still empty because we haven't done any translations yet. And the TM is where you should put the legacy TM. If you have a TM from a previous project, which is something I will do later. And uh, here we have Omega T project outside. So you see there's a whole file structure that Omega T opens whenever it um, begins or you begin work on a new project. There's a whole file structure for each new project, uh, more complex than the MemoQ because Omega T is more uh, transparent because it's an open source and uh, everything is transparent, uh, while uh, MemoQ has more inards, more uh, components that are part of the proprietary structure of MemoQ. Now, uh, let us just open. Um, a translation memory in Omega T in a memo queue as you remember we haven't done that yet so uh, let's uh, let's open a new one create use new uh, let's call this uh, memo queue versus Omega T and again source language is Hebrew target is English and you see again uh, MemoQ um, wants to um, save this in its own file structure somewhere in documents and settings. Um, now there's probably a way to change this um, default but it's not intuitive. I don't see a place that you can do this intuitively so we'll go the hard way we'll just go back to what uh, to the project that we um, started working with for some reason it's jumping around here uh, ah, because it's in documents and settings so uh, where is our project here it is and here too we will uh, set up the translation memory here okay fine let's approve that fine so now this is the translation memory go back to documents translations and here's the document, let's open it now. Double click. Um, and now it's opening the document. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it also has um, some tags, but far less than we had in uh, Omega T. But still, there are some tabs, and we'll have to see how we're coping with this later on. 